A simple search on Google or browsing Instagram or TikTok reveals hundreds of contradictory articles and posts on every topic imaginable, boosted by algorithms and our own personal data. The internet has become an information chaos. Seems like the new normal, right? But is it really the only option we have? Absolutely not. But to bring order to the chaos, we need new skills. Digital information literacy is the civic skill of our age. We need it every day. Let's take a look at what it is, how to practice it, and why it's so important. DIL refers to a set of skills that enable us to understand how the digital world works more broadly. With DIL, we can recognize influencing online and act against misinformation and harmful online practices. According to a goal set by the EU, 80% of the population should have at least basic digital skills by 2030. So what exactly are these skills and how do we train ourselves to be competent in them? The Digital Competence Framework for Citizens, DigComp 2.2, provides practical examples and descriptions of the key areas of digital knowledge, skills and attitudes. Considering the fast-changing social media trends, new skill needs arise every day. You might have heard young people being referred to as digital natives but no one is born as an expert. All of us internet users are inexperienced in some areas, for example, assessing the authenticity of online sources. Fortunately, there are proven ways that help us understand and evaluate digital information. These online skills and strategies help you to recognize and tackle inaccurate information, propaganda, manipulation, and conspiracies. In other words, the three types of information disorders, misinformation, disinformation, and malinformation. Content that is either accidentally or intentionally false, harmful, or both. Disinformation is very often dressed up as pseudoscientific claims. That's why even the expertise of experts and scientific claims should be checked. Reliable news sources, the websites of major scientific institutions or fact-checking organizations are good places to start looking for information. Professional fact-checkers all around the world also check from credible sources whether publicly made claims are true or not. But of course, professionals can't check everything. That's why we all need at least basic fact-checking skills. Using fact-checking tools is an effective way for countering disinformation in everyday life. For example, reverse image search can help with checking the accuracy of images and videos. The top tip from fact-checkers to everyone is to stop, think and check before spreading any content, especially if it raises emotions. Another aspect of online literacy is algorithmic awareness. It helps us understand why we see what we see on our screens. Algorithms are tuned to keep users engaged or even hooked. They have an impact on people's behavior. Algorithms often make one-sided recommendations about content online and narrow down our perception. The questions we should be asking ourselves are these. Are algorithms too powerful? Should they be made accountable? These questions are closely related to our personal digital footprint and privacy in online services. By using cookies, for example, our personal data is stored on devices and services we use, such as search engines and social media platforms. The collection of this data has become so common that the temptation to ignore it is great. We often fail to think about who it is safe to share our data with. The downside, huge amounts of data is constantly collected about us for companies, generating them digital power. This power of the web gives platforms and other technology actors a lot of influence on our lives and society. At the same time, technology giants keep us largely in the dark about their actions. Deal skills give us more power to protect our own digital rights. There are several organizations that are helping us to safeguard them too. Together, we can claim our rights and evolve from mere online users to online citizens. We can demand that policymakers and tech giants secure us a just and safe online environment. Active participation in the society and even the well-being of democracy depend on each of us having access to reliable information. When we are taught and explained tactics used to manipulate information, we are also better equipped to survive in the information chaos. Therefore, DIL should be learned and practiced until it becomes as easy as riding a bike. 
All of these themes are discussed in more detail in the frequently updated Digital Information Literacy Guide of the Finnish fact-checking and literacy organization Faktabari. The guide includes 16 articles by 10 expert writers on the topic. Welcome to learn more.